uh, as the devastation has taken place by the Russian forces who have invaded and had put on a full-scale attack on Ukraine in terms of uh, their infrastructure, their people killing thousands of people so far. And, uh, and so far, you know, about 7 million people have been displaced throughout the country. About 6 million ha are refugees who fled their country. And as the issue escalates even more, well, there's also been an uh, issue when it comes to Europe, uh, who has been a uh, customer of Russian energy. And this has been part of the headlines that we've been covering as of late when it comes to six turbines that Canada has released from a Montreal Siemens plant that, that uh, Russia says is necessary to provide the energy flow to Germany and other countries in Europe. Well, now Russia's gas prompt warns Europe it cannot guarantee future supplies as we're going to be heading into the fall months and the winter months. It just in, not, in a short period of time, in just a few months away, the Russia state controlled natural gas producers warning European consumers that it cannot guarantee future gas deliveries even after Canada circumvents its own sanctions on Moscow to send the repair turbines for what is the key pipeline that ships directly to Germany. Now, uh, there have been critics of Canada who have, you know, uh, who have petitioned to say you've gone past your own sanctions against Moscow and to be able to send these six turbines. And Canada says, no, we're sending it to Germany and then Germany sending it to Moscow. But this has uh, come at full force as Gazprom saying that regardless of us receiving the six turbines, thank you, Canada, for, you know, going against your own sanctions. But we're declaring that... Uh, uh, when it comes to Nord Stream 1, where the six pi uh, turbines were necessary for, they're saying that, yeah, we, we, we can't also guarantee that you're going to have your flow of, of, of gas that you need to be able to heat your homes in the coming winter months as this is escalating. Now, it is this pipeline will ship gas to Germany from Russia. It, it has now cut 40% of its capacity and uh, and there is uh, and then now has shut down for annual maintenance and this has of course raised a major flag for Germany and other countries who are dependent on Russian energy in terms of what they're going to do to be able to uh, have what they need for the uh, winter months ahead.